is better at multitasking than Zoo Miami's ambassador, Ron McGill. He's a radio and TV personality, a world-renowned animal expert, and an award-winning wildlife photographer. And of course, he's also my eco-hero partner on adventures <laughs> that have taken us all over the world. And now you can add author to his lengthy resume. I caught up with Ron recently to talk about his new book that's already a top seller on Amazon. For more than four decades, this has been Ron McGill's home and his passion. The Zoo Miami ambassador loves all the animals here, but one truly captured his heart, Quasi, the first male lion cub born at the zoo. So this is Quasi's family. This is Quasi's family, oh, yeah. Out look. there you have his father and his uncle. Quasi's journey is the focus of Ron's first book, The Pride of a Lion, what the animal kingdom can teach us about survival, fear, and family. You know, this was the, our own Lion King. So you looked at the, the, the father and the uncle are fighting to be with the mother, you know, it was like Scar and Simba, except ours was Kwame and Jabari. Quasi's early days were touch and go, so when he was finally healthy enough to meet the public, it was emotional. People were crying. We had volunteers sobbing tears of happiness to see this lion out there with his mother and the interactions together, it was this classic mother-son thing. And it was like, oh my gosh, what a happy story. But that happiness didn't last long. Only weeks later, Quasi's mother died unexpectedly. The book detailing a roller coaster of emotions as Quasi's aunt began to raise the cub alongside her own little ones. It's a story with many parallels to our human world, surviving hardships, overcoming fears, and the bonds of family. When Quasi's uncle attacked the young cub, it was his adoptive mother who saved his life. And here's this massive male, king of the beast lion, and a mother and a mother came up and just let him have it. He urinated all over himself and ran away with his tail between his legs. That dramatic scene leading to Ron's favorite photo of all time. She gently took her paw and she pulled him in and she held him. And I, I still get emotional thinking about it as if she was telling him, I will always protect you. But the book is more than Quasi's story. It's Ron's story too. His career paving the way for incredible adventures and celebrity connections. It wasn't always an easy road, but it's one he hopes will inspire others to follow their dreams. A lesson I learned early in life, and I think Quasi learned it too, is that failure is not the opposite of success. It's the path to success. And um, hopefully when, when you read this book, you'll get that feeling. You get a, you know, you'll see the ups and downs, the roller coasters, but at the end of the day, life is beautiful. So what happened to Quasi after his uncle attacked him? And why did that attack happen in the first place? You'll just have to read the book to find out. It goes oh. on sale tomorrow. <laughs> Ron and his co-writer, Greg Cody, from the Miami Herald will be doing a book signing, by the way, at the zoo this coming up Saturday, December the 9th. To learn more about that, head to local10.com. I've been reading it. It is a fun read and a great story. Literally, The Lion King happening right in our own backyard. Right there. At Zoo Miami. And he's such an ambassador for the wild world, isn't he? It, it's amazing. And, and he's, he's seen so many different animals yeah. come and go from the zoo. Um, but this one really touched his heart, and it'll touch yours, too. And his mission of conservation is felt all over the world. Yeah, we absolutely. can't thank you enough, Ron McGill, and we're so proud to call you ours <laughs> Our because buddy. you are ours. We love you, Ron. <laughs>